Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of adnexal dermoid cyst or mature cystic teratoma. A 70 year old female patient came for a routine ultrasound scan. So she is postmenopausal. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here I am going to show you the right adnexa. You can see a round cystic lesion casting postreacoustic enhancement. If you look at the inner part of the lesion, you can see some echogenic lines and dots forming the dot dash sign, which is the feature of dermoid mesh. You can also see an echogenic sound attenuating area at the central part, which is called the floating ball sign. The lesion has a smooth inner margin without any papillary projection or any suspected solid part. We cannot see the right ovary separately. Here's another view and you again can see dot dash pattern with internal floating ball sign within the right adnexal cystic lesion indicating the mature cystic teratoma. And the picture with a different probe I'm using the volumetric probe here to see the lesion with different settings. Sometimes this may give you more information about the lesion. You can see the dot dash pattern and the echogenic ball within this cystic lesion. Here's the measurement. You can see it's around 7.6 into 6.4 centimeter. So if you categorize it in ORED, then it will be ORED stulation. We have also used color Doppler, though the pictures are not available here and there was no internal or any abnormal peripheral vascularity, indicating color score of 1. Here is the longitudinal section where you can see a retroflexed atrophied uterus and super to it, you can see the part of the cystic lesion. We have tried to take some 3D pictures which may give you some idea about the inner components especially if it has got any calcified tooth or something like that. Here you can see the echogenic ball within this cystic lesion. And the picture with a few changes of settings and you can see this echogenic ball within this cystic lesion. To take this picture, we did nothing. We just saw the mass and put the 3D and the image came like this. Now you rotate the image and make some freehand cuts and edits and you will get some pictures like this with some different viewing presets. You see the ball here within this cystic lesion. You can also take some multiplanar shots by choosing the area you want to see on different slices. This sometimes helps see internal tiny calcific foci. And the view with changing contrast. So, in summary, a well defined thin walled unilocular cystic lesion of about 7.6 cm by 6.4 cm size, casting posterior acoustic enhancement with smooth inner margin, no papillary projection or septation, is noted in the right adnexa. A round echogenic sound attenuating mass is seen floating within the cyst cavity, forming the floating ball sign. It is also known as mid-ball sign, truffle sign, boa sign, or even if you are a cartoon lover, then you can call it a Pokemon ball sign. There are numerous thin echogenic lines and dots within the fluid content forming the dot dash pattern, indicating the dermoid mesh. In a very easy talk, these are hair. We couldn't see the right ovary separately. Moreover, the patient is in a postmenopausal state. If you want to see the ovary here, I think transvaginal ultrasound may give you some good views. On color Doppler, there was no internal or any abnormal peripheral vascularity. There was no ascites or lymphadenopathy. So this feature is concluded as a case of right adnexal cystic teratoma or dermoid cyst. If you want to go for the urets, then it will be scored as urets US2 and color score of 1.
Now the take home message. An adnex assist with internal echogenic components showing sound attenuation or casting any posterior acoustic shadow is a dermoid until proven otherwise. Don't forget to check the vascularity and peritoneal fluid collection. If you see increased vascularity with ascites, it may be a case of malignant transformation, which is more common in younger patients. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to visit us at imagingstudy.com. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.